Hello, this is Lolly. I'm so happy to be back working on this wonderful record album journal. It's also the December Daily we're doing for 2021. The paper uh, collection that I'm using, except for these solids, it's in the video description underneath. It, the kit is still available in my shop. So we have done up to date 17. So we're going to try and get several days in on one page. So I have this one. And what I've decided to do is make this three pockets here. When I see two pockets and then one on the back or at least one or two on the back. We'll see. And so what I want to do on this side is put a big pocket right here covering these two and leave these strips. So I want to make sure I punch my holes right here. And I'm going to do that now so that I don't lose my place. And so you see the holes around that side. Perfect. So what I have, and let's move this aside. I have cut apart. So you know this is a six inch square. I have cut a six by four and a six by two. So these are the papers that I have for this. But what I want to do, you can see how when you have patterns, you kind of lose the border of the pocket. And so I have these little strips. They're about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take these and glue the pockets onto them for a little border. And it helps to break up helps to break up the uh, pattern, two patterns going side by side there. Kind of using the grid on my mat here to help me get those fairly straight. This makes a nice edge there to really define the, the top of that pocket. So let's get this glued on. And then we're going to do the same thing to this red one here. We're going to put a strip on that one as well because it helps it to really show up and it helps to just create a nice little decoration there. I see this side of the paper is a little dirty so I'm going to flip this over. Trim a little bit of this off and I will trim off more when I glue that on there. Now the beauty of gluing that little strip behind the pocket instead of in front of it is when you go to put something inside the pocket, it's not catching. So if I were to put that strip on the outside of the pocket, it may catch a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to repunch those holes now. There we go. Now that helps me to see what's going on. I love this. This is very festive. And I chose these colors on, perfect, on purpose because it matches so well with this page right here. So we need to put numbers on this. Now the numbers are a download and they are different colors and different shapes. So circles and squares. 18, 19. I also want some snowflakes and I also have in the cut aparts or in I have this here we wish you a Merry Christmas and I have some snowflakes the snowflakes are part of an Elizabeth Craft Designs Christmas set that I have also in my shop I may do this and go all the way up into the white and maybe even a little off here and I have celebrate the season you see how if I put that on there it just gets lost the border of it so I could take this and glue this onto white and that would help that to show up a little better. Or I think I'll do this. I like that better. I forgot I was going to hang this out over the edge. So I have a little more glue than what I need, but my craft mat will pick that excess up. And I'm going up into that white border there. And this will get glued down here. Okay, now I'm not sure about this, but I really do like that. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Let's trim these off. If you put your journaling cards in the pockets or any of these decorative ones, and let's 
do this. These are in the ephemera pieces that are part of the paper collection in my shop. Okay, so you've got that one there. But if I put any up here, they're going to extend up and would cover this little piece there. So thinking one thing I could do, let's measure this. Okay, it is a th little over three and a quarter. So if I make this three and three quarter wide, at three and three quarter wide by about five and a quarter, I have a really long um, journaling card there. But I do think I want to round these edges. I'm going to do round my corners with the quarter inch. Uh, many people have said they think that the corner chomper is too expensive for a corner rounder, but the thing is, it also, it does chipboard, so you can get some really thick materials cut with that. So if you're making book covers, journal covers, it really does help. Now, you see how that fits down in there perfectly. And we have that there, and that gives us two more days on one page. It's also a really good use in your journal if you have a lot of a lot of material to put in your book and you're afraid it's going to get too fat. Okay, so now for this one, I have cut this just shy, so I forget what I cut this area. This one is three and three quarters. But I also have another border, so I can glue that across there. And that gives us a nice pocket there, and I love the layers here. Perfect. Now this looks like it's multiple pockets, but it's only the one. We just have these extra layers there. But I love that look. And we have all these cards that are part of the cut aparts and part of the, um, I gave you a, a whole set of journaling cards. We could put Happy Holidays there. This is actually, it's pretty much the same pattern as this, but it's just too busy, I think. So something solid like that would help to offset. We don't even have to go that big. It could be something relatively slow, uh, small or we could put another pocket here, and I have an idea. Ooh, you know what? I kind of like this one. Making Spirits Bright. It's in between the sizes of those two. I really do like that one. Okay. And I'm thinking we could make this a pocket underneath. We need to put the number 20 on here somewhere. Okay, let's make this a pocket. Okay, now another thing we can do is to get our enamel dots out and get that a little bit of decoration here. You see, we have some holly here we could accentuate. That really makes that come alive. Now, what a difference that makes there. Just adding that simple little bit there. That was really quick, and we did three days, boom, 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 just like that. So we are up to day 20 now. Let's put that in there, which means we have five days left, one of which is Christmas Day. Isn't that beautiful? So since we've, we've done so well with our time, we're going to go ahead and make another album for a uh, record cover for day 21. So let's use the six inch white square for the base. And for the front, I'm going back to this, which I've used on my cover and I just love it. So we need to get out the pattern to trace that. And these are in the downloads. So I have this in there, but I also printed this out on cardstock. I'm putting it with the hole at the top here. Just make sure you put your pattern away. I'll cut this off camera. Okay, there we go. So that would be the cover. So there are also the albums here to use as a guide. Okay, so I have the album and I have a record which I've already found the center. I've shown how to do that in my other videos. And I, instead of putting a typical record label on there, I'm going to use this Snowflake by Tim Holtz. 
I will give you a link in the um, underneath this video. I'm giving you links to the supply lists as well as all the free downloads that I created for this project. And I will give you a link to where to find it, this uh, snowflake. It's a set of two snowflakes. I got it at my local scrapbook store, but there are also places you can find them online. So I'm centering this over that hole there. Perfect. I just think that would make a very interesting record there. And I do want to punch a hole in the middle. If you don't have a crocodile big bite, just cut a small, uh, use a regular hole punch and cut out a black hole and put that right in the middle of your record and it will look like it's got a black hole. How cool is that? Now we have to glue this on. Don't glue the top part. If you're holding it this way, just glue the sides and bottom. Oh, precious. I love it. And now we have our record for there. There we go. Perfect. Now I do want some sort of decoration on the front. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. That's very cute. Um, but that would be good for Christmas Eve if I can remember to use it. I'll probably forget by then. But we need also day 21. And I think what I'm going to do is use uh, one of the red ones. This is also part of the downloads. I just went and uh, printed some of mine off on colored cardstock. So we have 21. This will be too bright to go with what I have here, although they are using two different colors of red in this. Uh, it gets lost. I really do want a vertically, vertically oriented piece to go in here. So as far as vertically, I said this is too bright. This would work great. This is a little on the small side. I do like that. I think I would have to mount this on white because, again, it's getting lost. I like both of these, but I like the vintage look of this one. So I may do this, although I really do like the white as well. You know, it's hard. Now let's mount that on white. And then let's use the layering guides. I didn't give myself much room, so I'm going to use the 1 8th right there, butt that up against the card, and trim. Now that really makes that pop so much better. You see how you can see that card now, whereas before it was just really drowning in that. But I, I very much like the vintage look there. And this red here helps to bring that alive. And I think even the snowflake may help. Okay, so let's glue that on. I've mentioned before that I'm not really using foam tape on my pages because it really makes your journal so thick. And again, this could have been a pocket here. That is lovely. I love this album and how different that is with the snowflake instead of the regular record label. So let's get that in here. And we have done four days. So now we have four left. 22, 23. 24 and Christmas Day and I think that we could probably get that all done in one day So it is coming along. It's getting nice and chunky and you can see we still have room here by the time We add photos and journaling cards. It will get even thicker. So here <laughs> We will be able to really put a lot in here and I'm looking forward to working and finishing this up This has been I think my favorite December daily so far